On this channel, I have covered my fair share of Doom games. However, you as a viewer may be wondering why my version of Doom looks so much better than yours, and how I'm able to play mods for Doom. This could have led you to discovering a source port such as GZ Doom, my personal favourite to use, and the one I'm going to be showing you how to install in this video. And I'm also going to be showing you how to mod it. I made a tutorial similar to this a long time ago, however much like many other tutorials on how to install this game, it's not very good. So without wasting any more time, let's get into how you install GZ Doom. First of all, you'll already need to own a version of Doom or Doom 2, preferably the Steam version because that is what I'm going to be showing you how to use today. And don't worry, the Steam version is very cheap. Now what I want you to do is either go to the link in the description or just go to Google and search up ZDoom. Anyway, once onto the ZDoom site, you want to go to GZ Doom, the blue one. You're going to download the version for whichever operating system you use. In my case, that would be Windows. Now that you have GZ Doom, I now want you to load up Steam, or wherever else you keep the files for the Doom game in question. But for the purpose of this video, once again, I'm showing you the Steam version of doing this. Once Steam is open, what I want you to do is go to the game on Steam, click on the cog, go to Manage, and then to Browse Local Files. Once you go into that, it will bring up the local files for the game. If it's the normal version of Doom 1 or 2 that you're wanting to play, then just click on the file that says Base. In both games, it is just called Base in the game's files. If you want to play Final Doom, say TNT or Plutonia, then just go to the bit that says Final Doom Base in Doom 2. Now what you want to do with whichever one of the games you're playing, is go into the GZ Doom file, take all of the stuff that's in there, and literally just drag and drop it into the game's files that you want to play. There used to be a thing where if you deleted the DOSBox executable and renamed GZ Doom's executable to DOSBox, you'd be able to load it straight up from Steam. However, because the version of Doom on Steam has changed now, you can't do this anymore. I still personally would probably name it to DOSBox, as this is the method I originally learned how to do, and it's just to be safe. However, I do want to warn you, when you first load it up, it's not going to look anything like mine does. You're going to have to do a lot of tweaking with the game's settings, but trust me, once you have it, it's worth it. The beauty of GZ Doom is how customizable it is, and some people may say that's the problem with it because it's not vanilla, but I personally like it very much. Well, the modding of GZ Doom is very simple. What you want to do is first find a place where you can get the mods that won't give you a virus. I recommend ModDB, this is where I get most of the Doom mods that I play, and it's a very reliable website. Once you're on there, find whatever mod you want to download, and just go and download the latest version of it. Then all you need to do is extract the mods files into the game's files, specifically in the base folder where you put GZ Doom earlier. Once you've done that, find the PK3 file of whatever the mod is, and drag and drop it onto the GZ Doom executable. Once you've done that, the game will load up with the mod installed. The example I'm showing here is the beautiful Doom mod. I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you are now able to play Doom properly and in a much more fun way than Unity ports. And if it did help you, I recommend giving the video a like, as it would mean it would reach more people who will need the same help as you. And if you're wondering which one of the Doom games you should play using this, then look no further than the video appearing right here.